This is a brief introduction to the core course, Financial Risk Management and Asset Pricing, FRE 6123. This is a required core course for all students, and it's a three credit course. In this course, you'll learn the basics of finance. You'll learn what is finance? What is risk? What does it mean to manage this thing called risk? What's an asset? What's a price? I'll tell you what finance is. Finance used to mean, it came from the Middle French in the 1400s or something. It has its roots in fin or fine, meaning to finish something. What was it that was being finished? An obligation. So finance came from this noble idea of let's fulfill our obligations. Now it's become, you know, different things. It's, it's not even clear how to pronounce it anymore. Is it finance? Is it finance? I think one of them's a verb and one's a noun, but you don't know which one's which. It's okay. We'll learn everything. Now, risk used to just mean uncharted waters. It used to mean you go out, you look around, you, you go up sailing, nautical stuff, you find something, you might die, you might get some new land, good times. That's risk. Today, risk has, just means the impact and probability of loss, and the magnitude of loss, that kind of thing. It's, you, there's no risk to winning the lottery. That's not considered much of a risk. Now, this is the entire class in one slide. If you remember nothing else from anything you've ever learned about finance and risk, just remember this. What's the last letter of risk? K. K divides into two. Two, there's good and bad. That's, that's all what finance and risk is about, it's possibilities. If everything is deterministic and only one thing can happen, there's nothing to do. There's no cares. Now, finance, it's also it's about money, right? That's what finance is about. So, but it's not, we don't call it monetary engineering. We call it financial engineering because it's more than just about the pieces of paper or what constitutes money. It's a way of slicing and dicing risk. Finance is the study of risk. Now, maybe we can't define risk in a completely pure way, but that's okay. Physicists can't define matter in a completely pure and complete way. Biologists can't necessarily define life. That's okay. We still know what we're talking about, and we know what we're talking about risk. We're talking about these two things. Things can go well, and things can go badly. Here's the entire class in one slide. First of all, think to yourself, would you take the following bet? If you flip a coin, on heads, you make $200. On tails, you pay me $100. Would you take that bet today, right now? Maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. Figuring that out, that's the essence of Arrow de Bro state pricing. It's probabilities, it's expected value, it's discounting. Um, uh, you can incorporate not just concepts of expected value, but expected utility as well. Right? You, don't, you have a certain utility, a certain happiness that comes from having a particular level of wealth and, or a lower level of wealth, and maybe it's not linear. You know, your first million dollars is always the sweetest. It always tastes better than the second million. You're not going to throw the second million away, but you'd still, the first million brought you much more happiness than the second one did. Um, you can, other concepts that we'll learn about, things like value at risk, that's incorporated into the same, same graph, right? It's the bottom part. It's the, the, the tail risks, that, all of those different kinds of measures. It's not a perfect measure. It's, it's not an evil measure either. It's a measure. It's some way of trying to get a handle on this thing called risk. Uh, if you have another asset that pays off in the same kind of states, on heads it pays something else, on tails it pays something else, you can price them relative to each other, and that sort of relative pricing is a hallmark of traditional finance and risk management. And finally, you can link these two together, and then you have an iterated binomial model, essentially. And that's a stock model. It can go up or down, up or down, up or down. Now we price options. In fact, here's the extended syllabus of the course. It's all about options. Options, forwards are puts plus calls. That uh, real options are kind of options. Everything is there to be priced. Equity is a call. Debt is a put. Insurance is a sequence of puts. The binomial model, everything comes back to options, and if you can understand options, and if you start to see the world, not just in this course, but in your own life as a, as a sequence of options, and you choose here and you choose there, and the kink in the options, that's what makes finance interesting, it's what makes finance possible, it's the way you can shuffle risk from one portion to another portion, from one person to another person, and that's what this course is all about. Now, the course has changed a bit somewhat in recent years, as you might expect. Before 2008, you know, it, life has changed, the world has changed, your mother has changed. Three years ago, your mom would ask you, oh, so you're studying financial engineering, huh? All right, so tell me, what stock should I buy, right? That's what your mom would ask. Now, she says, financial engineering you're studying? You guys ruined the world economy. Why? Why did you do that? And you're going into this business. It's the devil's business. It's ridiculous. You know, derivatives are evil. Bailed out banks. They're paying large bonuses. All these questions. And, and if you don't have a solid understanding of finance and risk and the reasons for each of those things to exist and how they all interact together, you won't be able to answer those questions. This course provides the tools to tell your mom what's up.